Yo, what up, everybody? This is allhiphop.com. Chuck Creek Green Man right here with Anki Syriac, director, filmmaker, movie star. What else? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's, it. It. that's, that's it. it. I'm a modest guy. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> What's going on with you? Not so much. Just uh, working and trying to get a lot of my productions off the ground. Just trying to survive. Okay, okay. Well, first of all, let's talk about the lineup. Now, the lineup has been in production for a while. We've seen a trailer. Um, I don't want to spoil what you want to present to people, but talk about it a little bit, and then we'll talk about some of the other things that we do know from the inside. All right. All right. Um, the lineup is a, is a web-based series that uh, we put together. We shot a pilot. Uh, we got a very great response. Um, you know, it, it went uh, we did the whole circuit. We put it out, and you know, a lot of people loved it. So we ended up getting some private financiers, and now we're in the process of shooting our first season. Okay, okay. Now you have artists that are involved. I know you can't speak on everyone who's involved, but can you give a an overview? Um, you know, well, Jim Jones was was our MP for the pilot episode, so he came on board. Mm -hmm. uh, very professional. Love working with him. He showed up. You know, we shot like throughout, like five hours, eight hours in yeah. through the night. We came on board, you know, and then right now I'm currently working on getting, uh, getting you know, maybe a day piece or someone of that caliber to okay. come on board, you know. Okay. Dave Issa is doing his thing. He's in a few projects now. Uh, Beats that's on Netflix. Yeah, and, and also that. the Wu-Tang. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. And Jim's not too bad either. He did a play a few years ago. Right. A whole play. Plays on Tales. Yeah, yeah, Tales too. Yeah, yeah Tales. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Jim was just in here recently, and he uh, has this whole controversial interview. We're trying to figure out what to do with it, because he just said, so what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's a character. Yeah, he's a very character, but he's very professional. Love working with him. Uh, he's always he's always part of himself, but Jim is, you know, you, you got to pay to play. <laughs> right, right, of course. Jim is one of those type of people, you know, COD, cash on delivery. Yeah, <laughs> of course. So, you know, I definitely appreciate him. He came through, he did what he had to do, and, you know, a lot of the press that we got was because of him, so. Definitely, you know, we always got to respect for that man. Now, is Tahiri still attached in any way, or the, she's part of the project? You know, um, I had to do a lot of uh, shifting mm -hmm. uh, due to the fact that the people who are bringing in the money, mm -hmm. they want their own actors. Uh, you know, they're more well connected in Hollywood, so okay. you know they're they're implementing their people. But I'm loyal to the original cast, so okay. what I'm doing is that you know I'm shifting the characters around, so she still has a character. So the premise of the lineup. The lineup is basically um, power needs set it off. It's the streets through the eyes of women, you know, their crimes, what they have to go through and their perspective of the street life. Okay. So, you know, we start off with, you know, the, the basic popularity where, you know, meeting a girl on IG, meeting up with her and then something goes wrong. So okay. that's how we bait you. But then it deals with a lot of social issues. It deals with the foster care system. Mm -hmm. It deals with, uh, you know, gentrification of an area and it deals with, you know, uh, how we perceive the police in our in our in our community as okay. far as you know as far as this whole narrative about you know hate the police or fuck the police and it, it's a cool narrative but you know and realistically speaking you know police they they do their job right you know so yeah. I'm not against the cops because my sister's a police officer yeah so but they do the job but it's like the narrative that they're pushing in the media right now is like you know us against them and that's not how it should be okay okay. Now you are an independent creative and you do a lot uh, on your own, uh, you know, obviously with people that finance it, but how difficult is it for you to move this way? Um, I call myself a professional beggar <laughs> because every meeting I go into, everybody I meet, it's always about how much can you invest? What can you do? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just really trying to get to that point where the studios or the bigger companies recognize me as a director mm -hmm. and they would call me to do a project for them but okay. most most of the stuff I do is you know it's from grassroots you know like mm -hmm. my mom investing to my dad investing mm -hmm. my cousins investing and you know we, we, we come together and then you know we take it from there yeah what about the changing landscape of content content delivery you know you have you know I mean everything from right. a computer to phones to uh, audio TV I mean just the whole gambit. Well, I mean, for, for for someone like me who's been doing this for a while, it's it's a beautiful, you know, it's a beautiful platform, you know. Because mm -hmm. what I could do is like I could shoot uh, a 
basic two hour episode and then break it down to to four mini episodes and I have a whole season there. Yeah. So it definitely helps me because it gives me, you know, and then helps me reach a uh, bigger audience faster than, you know, going through the execs, getting uh-huh. the right, getting the green light and uh-huh. going into production and stuff like that. So it basically helps us to create more content in a more faster way and get it out to the public much better. Yeah. One thing we're gonna start doing, uh, not to reveal our secrets, but we wanna create original content for our Instagram, like I mean, it's not a big thing or anything. Like people have been doing that. Right. But do you have any interest in that? Um, I, I currently started working with this young lady named Bo Christian, and she's a, a chef. And we shot uh, basically a show for her that teaches people how to cook in less than under a minute. Oh, okay. And lives in the city, but it's all for her Instagram. Okay. And television. So yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of that. I have uh, another young lady. Uh, her Instagram is uh, chicks that like wood. Okay. She builds stuff, so she's definitely going into the whole Instagram because Instagram TV is an untapped market. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, how hard is it to work with rappers? Now, I know you you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot or anything. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but uh, look, after about, I've been in the game for a minute now, yeah. and uh, you know, dealing with rappers in general is tough. But I can imagine it's more interesting from an actor point of view. Well, it's 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 really more about the you know I try to write I try to cast a, a rapper in a in a in a scene or a, a scenario that they're kind of more familiar with mm-hmm. because it's easier and it's more organic for them you know I wouldn't cast a rapper as a homeless person right I would you know cast them as something that they're kind of more familiar with the, okay. the only difficult part is most rappers don't like to to let you know where they're coming from so you. Basically, you're on their mercy. Mm-hmm. Unless you're like a huge studio, like your Fox. Right. You know, it says that we're going to pick you up and we're going to drop you off. You know, uh-huh. they're more like, yeah, I'm going to show up whenever I'm ready. Right. Yeah. So, you know, and then being in production time is money. So it's kind of, you know, it's frustrating. So I try to make sure that I pick the right rapper who mm-hmm. at least will, will show up two hours late, not six hours late. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> you know? Shout out to Jim Jones. He was on time actually early our last interview. Yes, that that's, that's why. I, I mean, you know, I love working with that. He was pretty dope. Yeah. He showed up, he knew his lines, did what he had to do. Well, okay, okay. I was expecting the worst, but you know. Okay. Um, do you have any other projects that you're working on? Um, I'm currently relaunching a short film that I have with uh, iTunes called Love and I Had a Fight. And then I mm-hmm. currently have um two short films in production. One is a horror and then one is it's called The Bar. Mm-hmm. And then I'm also working on uh, musical type uh, short film for another client of mine and it's called uh, a change of plans okay uh you know we've recently seen a lot of uh changes in filmmaking um we've seen for example jordan peele mm-hmm. he's dropped two movies that have been critically acclaimed us and get out right uh we've seen you know the little mermaid is now black and right black panther and you know a lot of changes right um, how do you feel about that? Uh, I've talked to a lot, so let me just say, I've talked to a lot of people like Master P, Dane Dash, and they're like, Yo, you know, that money's not coming to us, that money's not coming to the community. And then some are like, well, I want to just be represented. Right. You know, how do you feel about these changes? And in, in, in... I think it's wonderful because, you know, the money will always come. That's what I learned in life. But to, to see yourself on the big screen and not not see yourself as a slave or a drug mm-hmm. dealer right. or some crazy negative outlook on life, but to see yourself, you know, as, you know, a superhero or to see yourself as a fantasy character, I think it's great for the next generation. Yeah. I mean, you know, we, we've we done seen everything else, but mm-hmm. my son and your son and his son, mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I read in the book where, you know, whoever controls the media controls pretty much you know what people think and stuff like that and a lot of people tend to be educated based off of you know what they see yeah so i think it's, it's a wonderful um opportunity for us to change you know the image that we have to ourselves not even to the rest of the world yeah. we need to teach ourselves that we are no like you know every time we watch a movie it's about slavery it's like yeah. okay okay i get it we're slaves yeah we're slaves like, I get it. <laughs> you know but now it's like we're superheroes we're kings you know mm-hmm. we're, we're fantasy characters so it's cool it's a yeah. good it's a good mental thing because Mentally, we have to prepare ourselves, and then we can change other people's perspective. Right. Now you're 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 uh, based here in New York. Why not Hollywood? Well, I'm between New York and San Diego. Okay. Well, why San Diego? Comic Con. <laughs> <laughs> I love Comic Con. I always go every year. I didn't go this year because you know I, I 
I had so much stuff going on with production, but mm -hmm. and the weather's nice. It's, yeah, yeah it's, San Diego is a pretty nice city. Pretty nice. I mean, I've only been there twice, but uh, it's nice. Once was for Comic Con, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I was lo I was loving it when uh, Comic Con. I think that the homeless people kind of moved them out of there for a few days, but uh, it was still nice. Yeah, 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 I mean, I think LA, the homeless thing is crazy out there. Yeah, definitely. So it's super crazy out there, but, uh, you know, I just think Comic Con, you know, San Diego is just a nice place and, mm -hmm. you know, it's a good school environment. I'm waiting to do the full transition with my son, maybe within another year or two. Okay, cool, cool. All right, any final words you want to impart to the people? Um, yeah, no man's an island. So I do have a bunch of people that do support me. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to say, you know, Thank you to Cyrus, uh, you know, Shea Davis, you know, uh, Krisha Turner, uh, you know, Shadina Carroll, Samantha Georges, you know, these, those are the people who kind of hold me down. Hughes Williams, you know, my cousin, of course. Yeah, you know, so, um, you know, when you see me, there's like a, a thousand other people who, you know, giving me money, mm -hmm. you know, uh, working, thing, doing a lot of things for me because, you know, we all have a, 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 the same objective yeah. is to, to break in and then, you know, work and, you know, Get, get our friends and, you know, family to a better position. Shout out to Hughes, man. He's my intern at All Hip Hop. Yeah, he was at my lowest point in life when he was my intern. He was so loyal, came in every day. Like, it was just me and him most times. Really? Yeah. I had 3,000 square feet oh, wow. of office when the recession hit. <laughs> in Jersey City. Picture that. Right. Exactly. <laughs> but he, yeah, yeah, so, you know, small world. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely my, my boy Cyrus. You know. Yeah. He's held me down and definitely should be me, Carol and Samantha George. Mm -hmm. you know, especially Bioshi, she's like yeah. uh, my other half in LA. So. Mimi, Mimi, Holla. Holla. And then, uh, you know, shout out to Christian Turner. She came on board. She, she's been, you know, making things happen and she's been moving. So definitely she, she supports this project 100%. And, you know. Okay. And, you know. Where can people find you on social media? Um, I'm on Instagram. I'm only, mostly on Instagram. Uh, so it's at Anki Syriac, which is A N K Y. And C Y R I A Q U E, and that's the, or they call me Black Spielberg. All right, that's one of those good H movies. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's one of those you, you mess up all the time. Right, right. My, my teachers used to call me Anki Serial Killer. Oh man, come on, <laughs> cool, man. Yeah, yeah, they used to jack up my name right there. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, appreciate you, man. Thank you. Salute. Appreciate you. Yep.